Hello Rail Fanners, this is Aiden CP Rail here and this is my first episode of Come Rail Fanning with me of episode 1. So, all to my Rail Fanners, I want you to please come and Rail Fanning with me before I go to Manitoba because I'm such a big Rail Fanner and I started to Rail Fan in 2009. I got extra pictures to show you of me becoming a big Rail Fanner. I got extra pictures. So, this is the picture of me at the Paradox Central that was back in April 2011. And me with my dad at the Prodog Central Station with the BNSF 1685 GP9 locomotive. This is my first Union Pacific engine with my dad that we caught in Arlington Yard in Arlington. The whole background is Arlington because we're near the bridge. And this is the Union Pacific SD70M. Here's the two SD9043 Max that my dad caught. The Union Pacific was on the lead, and you see the Canadian Pacific AC4500 CW. The two SD9043 Max were on the run because Union Pacific rocks. Here's me back in 2014, just me sitting in front of the steam engine, the Canadian Pacific steam engine, like the Prodox Central type of steam engine. Here's me back in June 2015. I was 12 years old standing on the BNSF GP9 again back at the Prodox Central. Here's me with the Prodox Central GP9 and me again wearing my CN hat. That's still me and that's back in June 2015. Here's the next picture of me with the CCGX, the grubby CN. It was an SD40-2 and it got painted to the Prairie Solutions. There's a video down below that you. I have a video of the Prairie Rail Solutions crossing McDonald Avenue. Uh, Steve Boyko thinks it's a good catch. The Candle Rail Finder says it's a good video, but I have to make the phone landscape so I can get better shots. So, and the Winnipeg Rail Finder said it's a good video. We're gonna see the 5232 on the run in the summertime. And I reply thanks. So I have a next vid picture to show you. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so here's the two Union Pacific C44 ACCTE locomotives. One ES44 AC, one C44 ACCTE. The two Union Pacifics in the yard. We saw four of them today. I will right, we'll show you in a minute. Here's the Canadian Pacific AC and the Union Pacific ES44 AC with the run. It was getting ready to go to Rostrum, Manitoba, so I got a better shot, got a good shot of it before I went back to my mom's place so my dad was taking me to the train yard to see trains here's me in the United States in North Dakota in Grand Forks North Dakota here's me right there playing with my Lego Minecraft Santa Fe SD40-2 here's a picture of the BNSF at the turntable see in the background there's the turntables there's me back in March 2016 me and my best friend Santa Fe. This is the pink one. Goes like pink, so I showed my friends the pink one and it was beat up. I have the next vid picture to show you. Here's my vid here's my picture of me and Fred at Fred's layout. It looks like a nice picture. Hold on one sec. Sorry, it took so long. Alright, so I'm back. We're back at my picture about the come real fanning with me again. There's me and there's Fred. I usually visit him at Warehouse Hobbies because my dad takes me there to look at something. I usually buy trains there, so I have a next video. So Fred's been working hard on the layout. I bet it took like a long, long time. I bet he started when I was not even born yet or when I was born. There's me with my dad at the United States. We caught a BNSF SD60M. There's me. My dad caught this on camera. The GP28 in the CN Yard, New Pamina. Pamina? <laughs> There's me at the Winnipeg Railway Museum. 
me right there and the GMD1 1900. Thanks for watching Rail Fanners of Canada. Please subscribe and like. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and CP Rail out.